Hey guys, I'm Jaden Dufry, and today we are running through using side spin and back spin, and if we have time, top spin. I want to keep this video around like 10 minutes, so I don't want to get too far into it. So let's just say we're like this. We're combining draw with side spin on this shot. We already went through regular draw and how to do that, and we'll touch on that just a little bit. Uh, but we'll touch on like the fundamentals of draw. But if you want more in depth, I suggest you go visit that video. It should pop up on the side if you're watching this because it, I think they both have draw in the title. So that should be a recommended video if you watch this. So always on draw shots, make sure you're chalked up because it's easiest to miss cue. So draw shot is hitting the cue ball low. Let's see, I can use this as a demonstration. So we hit it low and the ball is spinning backwards as it goes forward. So it's spinning like that, and once it hits a ball, the backspin is released, and it goes back. So that's just what happens. That's, that's the physics behind it. And it's always good to understand the physics behind a shot. And so now we're just combining, well, for this shot, left spin. So now it's spinning back and to the left. When it hits it, the back left spin takes place, and it spins to the left still. So that's essentially how it works. So always make sure you're hitting low on the key wall. You have a loose wrist, but not too, li not too loose. Uh, and your cue is level and you follow through through the cue ball. So let's just move on to this shot. This is the most common draw side spin shot that you'll see. Uh, so this is what happens when we hit it with just straight draw, no side spin. It goes up there, which is an okay shot. But if we use side spin just a little bit, you never want to overuse side spin with draw. And I'll show you what happens if you do. So the more side spin you add, the higher you have to hit on the cue ball. So you won't draw as much. So if we use a buttload of side spin on this shot, we're only going to draw back a few inches. But you see the spin going. So you don't need much spin. We're just gonna hit about a tip of side spin, and let's see if I can find the IQ training ball. It's in this pocket. There it is. Oh, now I'll show you where we're hitting. So we are hitting bottom left on the shot. So we're gonna hit about right there. Right there, there's about a tip of left spin. And that would bring the cue ball into the rail and lengthen the angle out this way. And a lot of people would say, well, why would it lengthen the angle and not bring it back? Because it's spinning left, and left is that way, and that's right. Well, when you look at the direction the cue ball is going, it's going back this way, and this way is left. So always when you're drawing back and trying to go like to a certain direction, always look to where the cue ball is going, not where you're standing. So bottom left, we'll take the ball into this rail and kind of throw it out back closer to the eight. Right over there. Bam. So that's a lot better shot than being right here. So you understand why one would shoot with side spin uh, when it's just a little bit of side spin than shooting uh, just with regular draw and taking the harder shot. Uh, this is definitely an easy, easy route. Uh, the definitely one you need to practice because it's the one that's going to show up the most often and Now let's get into a different option Okay, so this shot is the most common shot on this little list uh, So let's just get right into it. Let's say we have a back cut on the eight So we want to make the eight to this corner and we're going to use back right spin to draw the cue ball into this rail and back over to this side of the table for a shot on the three. Let's just say we need to be on this side of the three uh, because we're playing position on the seven. Let's say we want to go from the three to the seven next. Uh, so we need to be on this side of the three so we naturally go over to the seven. So what we are going to do, back right spin or back outside English, whatever direction you're shooting, just shoot outside. Uh, we're going to use more right than back this time. We don't need a ton of backspin, but if you just shoot with right spin, your cue ball will go up here and kind of just die out. 
So we definitely do not want that. Also make sure you're chalked up as always, don't miss Q. So line your shot up. So we can just draw our cue ball back onto this side of the table as planned. And you may ask why this side of the table, just so like naturally with no spin, you pop the three and head over for the seven. So that is the most common shot. And the only way to get that down is to set it up and practice it over and over and over and over again. Uh, because I used to be absolutely terrible at that and I could not do it to save my life. And I shot it hundreds of times uh, like in the course of a week. That's all I focus on and now I can make them. So that's obvious, that's how you do it. You just repetition, muscle memory, and that's pretty much it. Okay, so for this next shot, let's just say we have a shot right there, and we want to play the seven into the corner and then shoot the three into this corner. Uh, so, so I'm stuck in my throat. So what we're gonna do, well, first I'll show you what happens if you shoot straight draw at the speed we're gonna shoot this shot. If you shoot straight draw, you kind of end up kind of short. So we would rather, this is a tougher shot than being over here. So that's where we want to be. So we're gonna give ourselves the same shot. And now we're gonna shoot this with bottom right. Uh, so this is inside English, English towards the rail. So bottom right will send our cue ball off of the seven. The bottom will take, go this way. Right will take off of the rail. When I say take, I mean like the spin's going to happen. Uh, and then the right will take it off the rail and bring it down here. So you don't need to hit hard on this. This is one of the most common shots on here. Uh, if you overstroke it, you will, if you use too much right, I mean, or if your wrist is too loose and you hit with too much draw, then you will like bring yourself down here and you definitely don't want to do that. And you don't want to hit hard. So we're going to hit the same speed that we did last time. You see how much further down it takes us. And I think we hit slower that time. So it takes us further down. So now we have an easier shot on the seven instead of being I mean, easier shot on the three. Instead of being up here, we're now down here, and we can easily make that three into the corner. I think everybody in the world can make that shot. Uh, so this is just a quick little run through of some draw with side spin. Bottom right, bottom inside. Uh, change your aim on the ball a little bit due to deflection. If you don't know what deflection is, I would check out uh, one of my newest videos on deflection, how to aim with side spin. So definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. Do not turn the video off yet uh, because I have important announcement thing to make. So for the channel, every new subscriber for, for the September 9th to 16th, uh, I will donate $1 to hurricane relief in Florida and Texas and also 20% of the ad revenue for the month of September. And so I'm trying to give away around $2,000. Let's see if we can uh, give $2,000 for hurricane relief. So that would be absolutely amazing, not only for me, but for definitely for those people down there. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, click the like button. If you want to donate to uh, Harvey and Irma Relief, uh, click the subscribe button down below and share this with your friends. See if they can subscribe because they will only be helping everybody. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.